All right, here let's take a look at how to find the uh, variance and the standard deviation. So here we're going to say find variance and standard deviation. And in this example, we'll take a very small example. Let's have uh, x which is equal to 3, 3, 7, and 7. All right, so we have a variable x which is equal to these four scores. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to start by finding the mean. And since this is a population, we're going to use the formula for the population mean. That's equal to the sum of x over n. So here we're just going to add up these values. So we have 3 plus 3 plus 7 plus 7 over 4, since we have 4 values, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. So adding these up, we have 3 and 7 is 10. 3 and 7 is 10. So that's 10 plus 10, or 20, over 4, which is equal to 5. Okay, so the mean here is equal to 5. All right, and to find the standard deviation of variance, I'll write the formulas over here. The variance is equal to SS over N, and the standard deviation is equal to the square root of SS over N, okay, the square root of that. And N, excuse me, SS is equal to the sum of the squares, and that's equal to sum x minus mu squared. All right, so we're going to solve for this. We're going to find SS first, and then we're, once we have SS, we can plug it into this formula, find the variance, then take the square root of the variance, um, which gives us the standard deviation, or alternatively, take the square root of this value, which gives us the standard deviation. But I'll show you that step by step. So let's start. Here we want to make a column that is x minus mu. It's the first thing we're going to do. We're trying to find this right here. Okay, x minus mu. So we'll start there. Our x, we have our x's here. So 3 minus, we have a mean of 5. So 3 minus 5 equals negative 2. Then we have 3 minus 5 again, negative 2. And then we have 7 minus 5 which is equal to positive 2, and 7 minus 5 once again, which is equal to positive 2. Now what you want to do at this point is sum these up as a check. Okay, and that's sum x minus mu. This is x minus mu here. We're going to sum them up, which means we're just going to add up these values here. So we have negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. 2 plus 2 is positive 4. So a negative 4 plus a positive 4 is 0. And that's exactly what we want. That checks out. That's good. Okay. The sum of the dv, the, the sum of x minus mu is always equal to 0. And x minus mu, this value here, is known as a deviation score. It tells you how far each x deviates from or departs from the mean. It's a deviation score. And these are actually the sum of the deviation scores here. Okay, but x minus mu is a deviation score. So because this equals to 0, which it should, we have to do another step here. We're going to find x minus mu squared, so that quantity squared, which, if you look over here, is this entire value, x minus mu squared. That's what we want. Okay. So to do this, we're going to take our x minus mu, negative 2, square that, which is equal to 4, negative 2 squared, which is equal to 4, 2 squared, this is positive, equal to 4, and another positive 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Okay, now these values are sum x minus mu quantity squared. Okay, or it's this thing here, just the sum of these. Okay, so we have 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is equal to 16. 
Okay, now this thing here, the sum of the squared deviation scores is the same thing as SS, sum of the squares or sum of the squared deviation scores. Same exact thing. Okay, so this thing here and this here, they are equal. They're the same thing. All right, so we're almost done. We have our SS now. So now we're going to move over here and solve for the variance. But I'm going to work down here due to space constraints. So we have variance equals SS, which is equal to 16, over N, which is equal to 4. We have four values, 3, 3, 7, 7. Okay, so the variance is equal to 4. And then we have the standard deviation, which is equal to SS over N over here, SS over N square root. Well, this is SS over N, so I'll rewrite that here. 16 over 4, we take the square root of that, or the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. Okay, so in this example, the standard deviation is equal to 2, and the variance is equal to 4.